Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to explain to you the different rackets in the percept line from Yonex. Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go! We got the Axiom line here, the 9-pack Duffel, my favorite bag, the 9-pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12-pack if you're going on tour. And my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. Finally got my percepts. Everybody's been asking, when are you going to do the percept line? Well, it took a while for me to get. <laughs> um, let's first talk about the cosmetics here. Um, it's kind of a mint green, you know, light mint green here, a little more darker, kind of a greenish there. Uh, we got even darker green over here with a little bit of red there. So th this part kind of looks like a watermelon, um, and then the black looks like the seeds. <laughs> now, the thing about the Percept is that, you know, we all know that it used to be called the V-Core Pro, which uh, might have been confusing for people because the V-Core is red now, or it's been red for a little bit, and people keep saying, you know, V-Core. I was like, V-Core or V-Core Pro? So with them changing the name, it, it helps all of us in the tennis industry out a little bit more um, to distinguish a totally different line. Um, so what Yonex is wanting us to feel is, well, they want you to be awakened to your senses. What does that mean? So they're claiming that these rackets will give you precise feel and control. Hmm. So their words are perceive, control, and create. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Um, let's take a quick look at some of the technologies here. But let's first take a look at their placard. We got new face on that placard. We got Tiafo here. And then that's Daria Yaskremska. So they're the new faces of this racket. They're still using Stan and, and Hercots too in, uh, in some of their marketing materials. They've taken out that mesh grip that was in the previous versions. Um, and have kind of put in this thing called a Servco filter. And they're saying it right there, the Servco filter. So what it is, is it's actually like a layer or a strip that's in the throat area, which supposedly quiets it down. Um, it takes out the unwanted vibration, but allows for the feedback that we all want and you know some of us enjoy like myself um, the flexcon system in the shaft hmm, i'm feeling something uh, the flexcon system allows the shaft to flex and extend the ball pocketing for a greater duration is what they're saying. So basically, what does that mean? Well, you can control the direction of the ball a little more, you can feel the ball a little bit more, and then it takes off. So I'm hoping that's predictable. And they're saying that it's gonna provide you with more accuracy, which I can definitely see that. And the final thing is they're saying there's more layers of graphite in here which helps in the rigidity, stability, 
at impact, which gives you more consistency. Okay. I can kind of see that. All right, so let's introduce you to the line. So first up, 97H. The specs didn't look like they changed much. It's a constant beam 21 millimeter all the way through. Unstrung specs is 330. Balance is 310 millimeters still. So not much has changed in the actual spec. Um, interesting. So that's the heavy. I use, you know, I like the heavy. Coach Goo usually likes the heavy. Um, next one up, 97D for dense. 320 grams on this one, uh, which equates to 11. Point three, okay. So, so usually strung weight is about 0.6 ounces more, and so that would be about 11.9. The denser string pattern at 18 by 20. Again, it's 21 millimeters all the way through, constant beam. The stiffness index on this one is a 62, as is the H. Okay, so this one built for a little more control. The H built for a little more stability. Okay, both at 62 stiffness. I could feel the heft on this one more than the, uh, the H actually. There is more weight there. There's more weight here. I kind of remember it in the, uh, the V-Core Pro 97 D2. Um, regular 97. Okay, so this is the best selling racket in the previous lines, the V-Core Pro 97 and the 310, um, 310 gram, 310 grams. So it's 10.9 ounces, about 11.5 strung. Again, it's 21 millimeters all the way through constant beam the ra on this one drops a little bit it's 60 ra so six zero ra this one i can feel that it's lighter lighter in the head comes through faster hmm, comes through faster here so interesting this is going to be a good good play test 310 in the balance, unstrung, guys. 310. All right. Most popular racket in the line. Interested to see what they did there. Okay. A little less known racket in the line is the 100. So this used to be called the V-Core Pro 100. Um, we sold a few of these. You just got to get these into the right person's hands. And... Uh, People actually like this a lot. It's, uh, it's actually 10.6 ounces before strings, 23 millimeters on the beam. So we get a little thicker here. And what do we get when we get a little thicker? We get a little stiffer. So the RA goes up to 66, so it got stiffer. So if you want a little bit more power and you want it to be a little lighter, the balance is 320 millimeters. So I feel that this actually has a pretty quick head. There's not a lot of weight up here. Uh, so it's going to cut through this air a little faster with a thicker beam. It's probably going to be a little more powerful. 16 by 19 on the string pattern on this one. Interesting. So, okay. And the newest addition to the line, uh, when I first looked at this particular racket, I was like, why did they make this racket? It's a 100D, D for dense. Um, but interestingly enough, it's not an 18 by 20, it's an 18 by 19. And it's actually pretty well spaced out. 
right? There aren't many 18 by 19s on the market. So they're wanting this racket to be a little more spin friendly, yet string friendly. <laughs> they don't want you to, they want you to break strings, but they don't want you to break it fast. So this clocks in a little bit heavier at 10.8 ounces. So a smidge heavier with the extra strings. Um, stiffness index is still 66, so a little stiffer than the 97s. And that's because of that 23 millimeter beam. You can feel that there is more weight in the head than the regular 100, so it comes through with a little more plow. Hmm. Excited to try this one for sure. Wanted to yeah, see something here. I'll show. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh. That's an interesting test. This is more even. This is more handle, but it doesn't feel that way. Excited to try these rackets. Um, guys, if you were a fan of the V-Core Pro, the previous line, give these percepts a try because that's what we're going to do in the upcoming videos. All right, so that's my introduction to the new Yonex Percept tennis racket line. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.